Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Opium Lover. And which right now we need to talk about dinosaur bones found in Roadworks. This surprising news has come from one of our roadworks in the area of Kunming. Apparently, as some of the dirt was being removed to construct the road, the workers uncovered in foss the, fo un the fossilized remains of an extinct animal. Geologist Bian Mainian was quickly contacted about the discovery and he came rushing into the area, where he quickly staged some analysis and, with the help of some workers, uncovered the rest of the fossilized remains of the animal. Dub IVPPV15. The remains are now being transported to Kunming for further analysis, and as Paleontological interest in the area is now surging. Bien Mianian is now conducting some land surveys on the area to examine the possibility that we may have found a sedentary, a se sedimentary rock formation that may potentially harbor even more samples. For example, while his work did come for free, the transportation costs had to be covered by us, and while the road works have already been resumed, a small delay carries a monetary cost. Let's hope they find something interesting, as we are now fighting a lot of the Qing Imperial authorities. Like, oh, hello, hello. Oh, big daddy, you need to go over here. Um, as you can see, like, I decided, just screw it. Just let them have one solid front line. That's why it just, it's just easier for us to manage. It just, you know, and also, Hunan has gone to war with the Qing Imperial Authority. Hopefully, Hunan does well. They did push in, but actually, it's their entire faction fighting the United Provinces of China fighting these guys, too. So, oh, that's not too bad. But as long as we can hold, that's, like, my main uh, concern. Hold and just, like, grind their manpower to nothing. We've just finished Industrial Innovation, too. Now, I can't honestly remember if I read this or not, but the Yunnanese early textile and light industry was revolutionary by the time of the Xinhai Revolution, but it's fallen behind as a new industrial production techniques can, came about in the West. I wish to prevail against your opponents. We should take advantage of our access to the Kunming Haifeng Railway and import new tools for our factories and new industrial experts to help us reorganize and improve our industry, which now I remember I did read that. Oh, well, and on this stuff, honestly, we can just wait until we're done with this war, so all this stuff can wait as much as I want to get the Tang Code. And another, oh, another research slot. Oh, we can use another research slot. Four is not enough. Mm, but, uh, but industry first. Attract ch Chinese investors. China has never been seen as an industrial giant, but there are still plenty of wealthy Chinese who would be willing to invest into a province and a nation so that China may one day be a world superpower. Through the Fu Dian Bank, we shall issue a new set of one-month bonds that will help us get the money we need for reforms and put the money into the pockets of our investors. More daily political power, efficiency, growth, factory output, more, even a lot more political power, and consumer goods, and c infrastructure construction speed. Nice. Initial reforms are not too bad. It's it could be a lot worse. This could be a lot worse. Holy crap. Um, anything else? Luckily, we're still doing okay. German economic control and Gaiju's Tin Weekend. Nice. Uh, the bank. And after this one, the Kunming Municipal Construction. The founding of a new corporation in Kunming for the purposes of renovating and improving our capital is another step towards our economic rise. With the establishment of the Kunming Cement Company, we shall be able to start more ambitious construction projects within a province without requiring Beijing support. And get more research, uh, no, civilian factory in Kunming and more political power, growth, factory output. Honestly, we said construction company, I'm like, is this like Vicky 2 where we're trying to build con uh, cement factories first and then kind of go from there? That sounds kind of like what it's supposed to be, but whatever. Now, if we could attack, I would be so happy, but I kind of don't think we can and do well, especially considering some of these divisions are just not looking very good. You are 12 combat with, which is hurting me internally right now, and you are 18 combat, so you're going to go up here first. Can you win here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, God. Sad days. Sad days. Happy 38, though, everybody. We're doing both of those things. We're doing... We got some research done. Um, Synthetic oils. Only 38 days. Oh, we haven't done our land auction. Oh, good God. Um, Let's see. Since we have opium, I want to go with ground battle plan for this one. But... <sighs> infiltration. Less supply consumption. I really want to go with superior firepower, but I've done that too many times. Let's go with ground battle plan. Something slightly different this time. Yeah, you guys are sucking super hard. Um, how many guns? Ooh, we have some guns. Uh, you know what? I think for this one, as much as I don't want to spend army XP, yep. Let's go with this. Let's go 16 combo width. You know what? Do we have any artillery at all? Honestly, I'd rather get more guns for now. Let's grab the infantry. Let's grab it. Oh, hello. Let's make up 20 combo width like this for now. It's fine. So now we're at like 6,000 guns. Actually, that's not too bad. 2,700 guns is not that bad. We need some support equipment. We just need factory. We need we need so much, man. We need so much. We can only get 1.39 political power every single day, but we do have some comms to go through as well. And I love that they're attacking us. Uh, the Czech Chinese investors, support weapons, Kunming and municipal constructions. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, get some better artillery because you can. But Yunnan, textile industry, not bad. Military and civvy. Uh... Boom, mining operations run Yunnan. Down here. Uh, Millie and Civi. 
Yeah, we'll just keep going down this way for now. Let's get another city. The Yunnanese textile industry has had humble beginnings with simple clothes workshops before the industrial era. Now, it is an ever-growing industry that, should, that keeps attracting investors and employing our people, which is subsidized the growth so that our economy improves. But we're going to enact conscription first so that we can get down to here-ish, somewhere down here. Yunnan has had for a long time a merely volunteer force. The reason for that is that the army was mostly comprised of exiles from the East and North who came to Yunnan after the failure of the Northern Expedition. However, between retirements and casualties, our manpower pool is significantly reduced over time. So perhaps it's time to once again implement conscription. Uh, these guys are not moving, and I love to see that. But a new tang. The warm sun rose over on a bright new day, and the queen for a rising state. The Honorable Li 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 was about to endure one of the life's greatest struggles and triumphs, the miracle birth in the capital. Surrounded by the closest aides to the royal family, a new heir has been born unto this blossoming dynasty. However, of all his aides, chambermaidens, and even concubines aiding in the process of labor, one face was notably missing. Across Kunming in the shady smoke-filled den, Tang Ji Yao, honorable king in Yunnan and Saloon, to be emperor of all China, sat in squalor and smoked opium from a hookah, blowing off the stresses of rule and familial connection for a bit of rest and relaxation. Tang popped away at the process, Poppy, letting his worries and stress melt away in decaying bliss, just as just miles away, his wife was given birth to his heir and only progeny. Progeny. As she and their newborn son cried and wailed into the air, Tang simply drifted off into a super, muttering to himself slowly, I a son. I have a son. And I'll, I'll, I'll... This is... What the heck? Constitutional American Republic. But how is the Western Command Center like this? What happened here? Bradley Eisenhower plan. Holy crap. They're not fighting the PSA, which is really good for them, but holy smoky fathers. How are they this strong? Then they gave Mormon autonomy? Western Project... What happened here? I definitely have to play the WCC sometime, but we'll see. Uh, and Canada is in the Entente, obviously, but who the... Oh, they're probably going to help these guys out, too, maybe. We'll see. If I, oh, there goes Huey Long. Huey Long's going to suck it hard right now. It's all right. Are they still attacking us somewhat? Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Yeah, we just don't have the industry for it yet. We need more factory output, but... Actually, that's a lot better than it used to be. And we do have some coffee. To keep us nice and warm. Uruguay wins world, world, world Cup? Nice. Oh! Alright, um, what is Japan up to as well? That's kind of one of my questions. Let's go and uh, raise conscription, even though I don't really want to do it. It is what it is. The Battle of Guiyang, Guiyang releases. After a year and a half of effort, Tang and Maksu Waibang's new movie, dubbed The Battle of Guiyang, has released. The movie is showing Tang as a frontline com battle commander, taking the seat from the incompetent Zili generals while slightly inaccurate to the actual events. So it has become a good piece of propaganda for our government. And while the movie is certainly not a mass fate in all of China, as the provincial screenings have made enough proceeds to justify its costs. Hopefully it's captured Tang's heroism. Nice. Who needs to be with, with your wife? The Empress. When you can just go down and get a little bit of that hookah. Chief of the Air Force? Not bad. We don't really have any planes really here to do too much. A lot of stuff wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Actually, if we went up to extensive now, we could go up to there immediately. Yeah, but I don't want to hurt ourselves too much, so. I'll just get a generic fight. That's fine for now. Hope we don't lose here. I'm a little concerned that we will lose here, so. Yeah, do that. You guys really gotta hold out. Paleontologists flock to Yunnan. Led by paleontologist and zoologist Yang Zongjiang, known as C.C. Young outside of China and the bright pupil of German professor Friedrich von Hühner, many intellectuals are now flocking to Yunnan to examine the remains of the IV PPV-15. While only a partial skeleton, many are comparing its sauropod-like appearance to the discovery of the Brachiosaurus al Altothorax, a massive late Jurassic sauropod discovered in 1903 in Colorado. However, early measurements from Bien Mianan show that the bones most likely come from the late Triassic, causing further uh, enthusiasm from scientists on the subject as a majority of the sauropods are not believed to have evolved until the early stages of the Jurassic era. Another issue that has brought interest to the fossils is that the fact that the skeleton doesn't seem to belong to any known sauropod species categorized in China, and many are excited to see this new skeleton belongs to yet another undiscovered species of sauropods. I wonder if we can profit from this popularity. You bet we can and we will really not looking good here oh we barely got in there in time oh we lost that province that sucks just gonna hold for now they are still putting up a good fight against us even though oh, they're still mate right here too even if we lose this province we still have a river to fight through so have you ooh yeah I don't think you can get done go down here help consolidate our land just a little bit more long yun is doing all right Going to retreat for now, it's fine. Don't worry about that. And this, these guys are in the mountains, so that'd be good. We got a little bit more soft attack as well to do a little bit more damage, which would be nice. Get some anti air. We might really need that. So, casualties. They have a lot of divisions. Holy crap. We've delivered about 80,000 ish, so 
Maybe-ish? Not bad. Please do not be losing here. Do not lose here, man. I swear to God. We could really use more divisions, but we can't really throw any more out, so... Chengdu, please. Chengdu. They join the Entente. Well, good for them. Don't really care. Why are you going, son? I need you over here. Yeah, it's pretty bloody, but we're doing okay on guns. We're doing okay. We're not making any more divisions, but we're doing okay. Especially these guys killing each Oh, they are pushing into there, which is not good for us. But, centralized chain of command. Dozens of separate cliques of officers to operate in Yunnan. With battalion sides, armor groups almost entirely under their direct control. The revision of the officer list is in order, and perhaps in the process we can purge nepotistically promoted officers who keep hurting our monthly budget. I don't guess better consumer goods. We won't be able to output as many, or I guess have as many divisions, but... As long as we make these guys bigger and better, that's what really matters. So, nice. Keep holding on. And, actually, how is the army reforms doing? I'd love it integrated, but whatever. We need 100 more. We need more organization, less experience, soldiers lost, which would be good to get. Yeah, these guys are not doing great, which kind of sucks. Polish Republic, join the Moscow Accords? Well, alright. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Wow, Poland, you are flip-flopping, huh? I mean, that's just my main goal right now. Get these guys as much experience and much as defense possible. Um, let's go with that one for now. I'll help guarantee that we won't get killed, completely killed off. Now, attack is going to be a pain in the big old took us, but whatever. It's fine, whatever. Don't really care. After this one, so, we can either prioritize our officer corps, get more max planning, which is nice. Uh, land doctrine, land doctrine, span the Kunming base. Even more land doctrine, which, or max planning. I like the daily uh, army XP gain. That could be really good. I like that a lot. Or overhaul the Kunming arsenal, so it's faster and cheaper for us to produce stuff, which I do like. You get a little bit of max planning. Or prioritize manpower and get better division training time. You lose output. You lose max planning and planning speed. But if you can integrate stuff fast enough, it won't really matter. You get more output, slightly more manpower, more slightly more uh, planning. Um, Non-discriminatory promotions. Improved coordination. This side, you do get more daily army XP. Eventually, army XP won't really matter. But I do like the more max planning. Like, this is a lot of max planning. You lose 10%. So zero. Basically, you get nothing. No extra max planning. I like the extra planning. So we're probably going to prioritize our officer corps. The Kunming Academy has prepared the victorious army of Yunnan for decades now. It's almost unthinkable that the National Protection Alliance would have been would have been successful without its graduates. And today stands as the backbone of the Yunnanese army. Whatever reform we may draft, we should include the academy as a centerpiece. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. Get your old big old fat booties over here. We need you right now, right here. Oh, they took Chengdu. God dang it. Arr. Oh well, not much we can do. We can get more entrenchment anyways. Get some fighters. Uh, go up here too. They should not have any of this as a core. They should only have this as claims. Yeah, they're only as claims. That's right. That's right. That's why I went with more max entrenchment. We are just not ready yet for us to really successfully fully 100% defend yet, so. Um, airfield, close air support. Uh, I do like the air superiority, so I'll grab that, grab that one. We have five divisions too many. Yeah, I don't believe you. I don't like this. I, I understand why this is here, but I really hate this. Net factories. We just need more factories so we can improve our industry and stuff. I hate it so much. It hurts our organization, which is why part of the reason why we're losing right now. They've got to be racking up more casualties than this. 45,000 have died. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh, well, you should be getting a lot of resistance, because they should be running out of guns completely. Kingdom of Greece? Uh, oh, yes, continue army reforms. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes. There it goes. Here we long. Goodbye, here we long. Goodbye. Go to here. We can't lose Chongqing. You know, technically, if we were to lose all this area, I mean, we'd actually defend on our own territory, which would be pretty good for us, but still. You are fighting so many guys. Just dudes all over the place. Uh, how much have you learned? Oh, you're almost level 5. That's nice, actually. Tang. Um, I'd become a Mountaineer. He's almost an Infantry Leader, which is very good. And almost a Mountaineer, because I do want to go to Adaptable, maybe, eventually. But yeah, this is my main strategy. Is just do this. Lower Lufang series officially discovered. Today, the South National Southwestern Associated University has officially declared the Lower Lufang Formation Series discovered in Yunnan. While the initial samples um, show the areas in Upper Triassic Formation... Further analysis has led Bian Mianfian 
uh, and other geologists have defined it as a lower Jurassic formation, clarifying that the bones of the IVPPV15 could definitely belong to a sauropod. On that end, Yang Zhongzheng has also finally concluded that the IVPPV15 belongs to a new species of dinosaur that hasn't been found before, and named it Luthangosaurus Huenai, with the first name referring to the uh, to the formation, and the second name is an homage to his tutor, Friedrich von Huene. With this announcement, dozens of small archaeological teams from different parts of China and surrounding nations have been flocking into the province to begin exploration of the area. While this doesn't represent a massive change for a government, the scientific community and the province of the province is sure to benefit from the influx of new geologists and paleontologists. Just what we needed, more intellectuals. I know that's supposed to be sarcastic and stuff, but whatever. <coughs> you know, we need this immediately. Oh, we can't get that one yet. God dang it. Well, we're going to keep going down this way. Though. Uh, yeah, go this one. Wait, we can actually buy stuff. Fire artillery would be really nice, but the Kunming Academy has produced uh, some of China's finest officers, and now we need needed services more than ever. We shall expand installations and allow the cadets greater freedom to both observe and lead troops in the front line if they decide they want to start gaining experience and rank without having yet graduated, which is not a bad idea. It's always good to make sure everyone knows what it's doing, and they're very caught up on the latest strategies and stuff like that. So, Honestly, this could be a lot worse. And they got that promise back. Nice, we got some trench warfare. Good, good. We got more max entrenchment. And get some more max planning. I'm going to max out that planning with grand battle plan. What, why'd they stop attacking, guys? Why'd you stop attacking? I want you to keep attacking. He's charismatic, which is nice. Oh, oh, hello. Aren't you guaranteed by the... Maybe you're not guaranteed by... That's in vanilla. You're not guaranteed by the Americans. Manuel Luis Quezon? Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. God, I want to attack. But they're looking a little weak as well. Wait, what? Fifth... Oh! Oh, you guys are going to go to war them too! Oh, happy days! Well, maybe not. The fifth... Uh. Well, they definitely started attacking us here. And attacking us here too. When are we going to attack them here? I mean, it's over river, which is pretty bad, but still. Hmm. Oh, are we losing here? Tear down to air would be nice. It's almost 39. Just grab some more output. We have, a, we have blueprints for it, so it's fine. Yeah, no, begin attacking here. We're honestly probably not going to win, but... Hey, if we can get Chengdu back, that'd be great. That'd be real great. Got some more PP. Um, get some armor, light tank manufacturers, you might as well, right? And then, yeah, expand the Kunming Academy. I love these 35-day focuses. It's just so nice having shorter focuses. And... Go right there. If that's a... Oh, wait, hold on. If that's a case, get rid of this. Spread the level a little bit more. Nice. After that one, we're going to do improve officer standards. A lot of officers in Yunnan wound up being pro promoted hastily and without proper checks of their skill and talents, instead of encouraging a purge of our officers, which would be undesirable and politically negative. We shall encourage the usage of higher officer promotion standards, so that officers that truly earn their position remain and climb up the hierarchical ladder. Did we not get Chengdu? Baby. Cheng me, Cheng you, we gotta get Chengdu. They're still attacking, even though they're, they're literally on a 1-2 front war. Really, 2-3 front war. So this is the case. We won't take most of this territory. Well, obviously, some of this will be... We'll be take some of this. These guys will take some of this. These guys will take some of this. And, you know, they are pushing into... Holy crap. And we'll take a lot of this stuff, too, if we can. If possible. Yay, Tang, yay. Uh, become an infantry expert, actually. It's fine. When he's not smoking opium, he's smoking other Chinese booties. Which, hmm... Hello, who is it trying to attack us now? Oh, Empire of Japan, whatever. Hmm. Shangxi clique to clear one Qing. You get Qing. I wanted to kind of do it. You know what? Let's try it. Have a really bad idea. Especially over here, it's going to be really bad and poorly done. It's alright. Let's we'll see what we can do. And once these guys are done, we'll attack up here too. Because we get all Sijuan back, we can eventually integrate it. So let's get let's just save up our PP. Oh, we actually separated these guys. Nice, but not really. Keep going, take all that territory back, son. We get 1.84 political power. Every single, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Should be able to win there. And then improve officer stands and a new academic textbook so he gets even more uh, leadership experience gain, planning speed, max planning, land auction research speed. Get it done as fast as possible. 
Nice. Not bad. So far, we're doing okay. Renew the textbook academics. Or academic textbooks. Yay. Yes, please. While the Kunming Academy has done a great job of producing officers, it has done so with pre-Valkyrie Guerra manuals, in which, in many ways, are severely outdated to the face of the modern battlefield, as the French learned the hard way in 1914. In order to keep our edge, we'll need to start importing some new bi bibliography in order to train our troops and officers in the newest battlefield techniques. Now, we're losing over here, but I just want to push as hard as we can out this way. That's really my goal. So right now, we just need more of the territories back. We have a lot of ages just on fire, so. But we wouldn't want it any other way. So if attacking to here is probably a bad idea, so you guys stop. You guys keep going. The Great Syrian Revolt, nice. Go in. We'll deal with these guys eventually. But now... Yemen, nice. Shandong Clique, huh? Oh crap, they're over here too. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's not good for us. Separate revolt, second Arab revolts. Oh, and there goes Chengdu as well. Oh yeah, Japan, yeah, totally. These guys are occupied. Let's go this way. And circle and destroy if you can. You guys can actually win here. That'd be awesome. This has just become kind of like China Battle Royale. It's like a sign of Japanese war. Nice. Do that. Oh, it canceled links. Come on, man. We're only minus 3,700 now. That's all. I might request that you guys come over here, too. So, Actually, they're looking not super strong over here, so... They actually might be able to do okay. Nice. We have a lot of organization. Oh, we need... <sighs> yeah, we definitely need all these territories that we got earlier, so... If we do that, you completely encircle them, so... Yeah, guys, that's fine with us. I'm worried about this side, though, a little bit, just because... We're technically at war with them, too, so... Yeah, not good. Continue the army reforms. Very nice. Happy 39, everybody. The world is just falling apart in China here. As it probably normally does, so. Nice. We got these guys off, which is awesome. Good. Mm, that'd be really good to get. I want those millies really badly. Purchase artillery, land doctrine, land doctrine. Purchase artillery. Artillery became a deal breaker for most nations during the Great War, and its recent usage both inside and outside of China have greatly proven that indirect artillery fire rules the modern battlefield. In order to prepare United for this kind of warfare, we should invest in importing artillery pieces into the region. Sounds like a smart idea. Good. Nothing like having a ton of bloodshed to make sure that you learn a whole lot. We need Aba and Ji Kong. Something like that. Oh, and before you do that, go in here. Go there. These guys are not doing great. But these guys have done quite well up here, so. Nice, kill them all off. Great job, guys. Over here, not so much. But let's not talk about that too much. We've lost a lot of... No, that's not us. We lost a piece of... Ah, that's not too bad, actually. Alright, fall... Oh. If these guys could die, that'd be great. Hold on to that for now. You guys are doing really well up here, which is a little surprising, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. <coughs> oh, we actually pushed in? Maybe? It's hard to tell. Down here, not so much. Yeah, we did. We need full control of all these areas so we can actually core this goddamn piece of garbage. Alright, so far, okay. Which means that... Oh, they're fighting the Mongolian Khanate as well, which is good to see. They have so much manpower, though. They have so much manpower. So, I mean, it's China. Don't get me wrong. I know it's China, but still. Oh, don't lose a tile, man. Don't lose a tile. You ain't allowed to lose yet. All right, so all of you, all of you guys just hold. I'm going to separate you guys out. So you guys go over here. You guys do this. You're just over here hanging out. 
Having a good old time. You guys. Do this. Because you guys can actually push through here a little bit, so. There we go. Nice. Just reorganize yourselves. You'll be fine. Not too worried about that too much. <sighs> the things we do for love? No. The things we do for uh, winning wars. Especially finding land wars in Asia. Jesus Christ. Oh, we got plenty of manpower, though, which is really good. Hey, nice. If we can buy artillery, I would love that so much. Army exercises. Yeah, let's just go to get the national champion and finalize our reforms. It'd be really good. Army exercises. Practice makes perfect. In a search, our army must not fall behind this aspect. As we organize new war games, we will be able to test new strategies and tactics to separate the wheat from this chaff. A call for unity. Scholars, intellectuals, and various ideologues have made calls for national unity against foreign aggression routinely over the years. It's been a nice rallying cry, if one that often fell on deaf ears. Now, with Japan's invasion rolling across a significant portion of the country, the Qing Imperial authorities made a call for a temporary alliance against Japan, and this time perhaps other leaders will listen. Even the most cynical must admit that China's fate seems to be hanging in the balance. Nah, also they capitulated. Like, they literally just died just because, uh... I don't know, the Feng Jing did really well. Like, it was literally like, I don't know, a minute after I just clicked Fade In, Fade Out, uh, that they died. So I'm like, okay, well, as long as we can integrate Sichuan, it's all I care about. It's all I really care about. So now we're going to move all our soldiers over here and really start hammering them home. And hopefully we can punch a hole through these guys as best and as hard and as fast as possible. Let's just go in, go in. If you find them, kill them off. If you possibly can. Find and kill. Find and kill. You got horses? Kill them off. Um, we're out of guns and artillery, but whatever. Uh, hopefully we do well against at least the Mongolians. I'm not too worried about the Tibetans. This is not bad. These guys, at least now, actually, this is why we gave Huan on Cleek. We did take Guangzong, um, as you can see. But now these, these guys over here can focus on these guys as much as possible. Uh, oh, that confederation's gone. Well, all right, whatever. Um, if you guys get to keep heading on in, that'd be great. Yeah, it's not going to go great for us, is it? If we can attack and destroy this militia division, that'd be awesome. And just move it as quickly as possible, but, you know, fighting the mountains in Asia is just not great. But the, then again, the Feng Shui government is fighting over here as well. These guys are fighting over here too. We'll have to just kind of wait and see what happens. Versus artillery, though. Army exercises, practice makes perfect, because in such, our armies must not fall behind this aspect. As we organize new war games, we'll be able to test new strategies and tactics to separate the wheat from the chaff. I want to integrate Shang-Chi, but we can't do it yet. And Hubei, well, we're not quite there yet. Um, we're doing well over here. Get some better guns, even though we can't, we're not really going to make them yet, even after we get them researched, so yeah. Uh, guys, there's no one going in there? Okay, there you go. That should help us out a little bit more. And then advanced machine tools... Uh, I would like to get some extraction stuff. I would like to get some casts as well. Oh, Feng Shin. Oh, hello. Yeah. We'll definitely take this off, Feng Shin government. Yeah, absolutely. So, we've lost 33,000. Also, the Japanese didn't really want to fight us, so. We got almost 100,000 Mongolians, which is pretty nice. League of Five Provinces, huh? I mean, this is just really destructive. Shandong Cleek, thank God for the Japanese, which is something I thought I would never say. We're continuing our army reforms as well, but after army exercises, elite officer corps. United is home to one of the most advanced officer corps in China, thanks to the remnants of the National Revolutionary Army and the survivors of the new Guangxi clique, as well as their own cadre of generals. Their exp expertise and ingenuity being invaluable, bring in valuable tactical innovation to our province, and we should exploit their knowledge if we wish to prevail in the ever-changing battlefield. Absolutely. Abs are positively literally. Hey, yeah, guys, we'll take some stuff. If we could at least win here, I'd be I'd be pretty happy about that. Oh, well, there goes those guys. Goodbye. I want to make sure we get this one done too. In three days, we'll have that one done as well, which would be awesome. Might as well do that one too. If we ever need to research more stuff, so. And uh, still not cored yet. Wow. 18 million core population. Non core population is 66 million. Jesus Christ. Get you to do the army reforms? Might as well, right? <clears throat> At least get Cham Do. That's all I want. Then we'll stop the attacks. Because it's really costing us quite a bit, so. Dude, that's so relatively okay against Mongolia. You know, it's not great. Alright, so now everyone hold. Just hold. Don't worry about it. Just reorganize ourselves. We've taken the first piece of Tibetan territory, finally. Which is great. I hope these guys can hold. It looks like they are, which is good to see. Um, occupied territories, civilian oversight. Still, just these horses. They're doing well. They're just doing well. Not much else to say about that. 
Just kind of hang out for now. They might attack us, they might not. Uh, I want to wait till we can attack again. And why, for the love of God, can we... Okay, we can actually change all of you guys. Sweet. Oh, everyone, select all but you. Just become normal infantry. No. Uh, this one. There you go. Now it's going to hurt our guns, probably. Right? Because I don't want to see all this extra stuff here. Uh, get rid of that. Motorized. We'll keep that for now. Not too opposed to that at the moment. Get that one done soon. And then you guys, all but you, become better. There you go. That's fine. There you go. I don't want to see this stuff. Oh, look at that. We can actually make more divisions now. Because we have a... Wait, why? War economy... To because the total provided by factories was lower than that provided by total manpower. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Not sure if I fully understand it, but at this point, I don't really care. Some of that. Grab some of that. That's fine. Grab some. Nothing else, because we are out of army XP, which is not very good for us, but whatever. It's also not good that these guys, even though they're helping us out, they're doing really well against Shang-Chi. Are they fighting Shang-Chi? Yeah, they are. That's not good. Or maybe not. Hold on. Shandong. No, they're not. No, they're not. That's good. It's good to see. Ah, I see. Help them out. Uh, Tristan's pretty bad up here. Oh, look at five provinces. Very nice. And then these guys, they're going to have to fall. They're just going to have to. Really? Officer Corps, national champion. You know, something called, sometimes called the national champion when it comes to officer organization, discipline, and leadership. We should further prove this legend true and continue to prove upon our officer corps. Two more military factories, more daily arm XP. I mean, that's just super necessary for right now, so. Let's make sure not everyone here moves. God dang, supply sucks. Supply really is not good right now. Well, it's not really that bad either. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that, huh? That's such a mess of fighting, man. Such a mess. Go in. Help support the attack. Mongolia's not gonna have a good time. Uh, we're definitely gonna need more divisions, though. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improved already is nice. Um, we're doing that as well. Better engineers, maybe? Uh, don't really time for that one, so... Let's kind of hang out for now. Get some... Anti-air, get some planes. Hope these, these guys will do well over here. Shang-Chi is doing quite well as well. I don't really want to try and attack, but at the same time I do. So, we'll see. Because fighting straight into, just straight into the Tibet is not going to be a good idea. Oh, according to our two other pieces. Yeah, why not? We could definitely use it, so. Fall of Atlanta. There goes a the car. Are they doing force defense? No, they're not. But their strength still sucks, too, anyway, so. Any other upgrades? Nope. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. I'm gonna grab some cavalry detachments, too, if you really want it. You guys actually win just like right here. Militia, they have a lot of militia. Some some mountaineers, but it's not that bad. Goalie's not feeling very good, which is good to see, so. If you guys could just go in and win, I, I would love it, but finalize the reforms. With the reforms at the end, the time has come to finally take all the knowledge we've gathered and put it into practice. Some armies will march to the west to practice mount maneuvers, others to the east to practice open field battles, and through practice, we will show any full how our tactical expertise will flavor us in the battlefield. Yeah, we're not doing as good as I hope we would. But whatever. Fall of Vladivostok? Oh. Well, Russia's doing its own job. The cadets unite Russia. The rise of the Democratic Republic. Alright, well, good. good luck with that, guys. If we just break in through the Tibet, I'd want to smash the crap out of Tibet super badly. We're doing well over here. Oh, sort of well over there. It's just supply is so bad. We're going to lose a lot of guys. Then again, we must have core the territory because we have about 4 million and 77.76. 
million core population, which is not bad, which is actually really awesome. Really, really awesome. And by doing this, even though we lose guns, we do get some more, a lot more army XP, which is what we still need. So, honestly, that's not bad. Uh, we're currently at 5.5%. We could actually lower it and go to total mobilization. Yeah. I want more consumer goods right now. Let's get more. We're going to demobilize, but as, as we get more territory, it'll be fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Defeats Mongol rebels. The Mad Baron has done it. Well, <laughs> he got some bigger things right there, dude, to deal with right now. If we can win this war and actually just take out all of Tibet, I would I would be happy with that. Just let us have southern Tib all of Tibet. Maybe a little portion over here as well. Give some to Shangxi. Give some to Fengshan government, and they'll come and try to kill us as well. But it's fine, whatever. We actually have some motorized. Look at that. We've lost just so many guys. Fifty-seven thousand. It's not bad, really, though. Where's fifty thousand? I mean, yeah, it's not great. All right, so now let's redo this again. It's gonna hold. It's 39. Some radar, maybe? Grand Battle Plan would be great to get done as well. Just kind of hang out for now. I know supply really, really sucks, though. So. Good God, it sucks so hard. Finalize reforms. Do something like that, I guess. Something like that for now. Mountaineer training. This stuff is not bad. Land auction. We could rush that, but I would come back over here and do the expand mining operations. The mining operations in Gaiju, or Gaiju, and other mining cities in Yunnan are a major aspect of Yunnanese economy, a vital one even. Expanding the mines, furnaces, and smelters in the province, as well as subsidizing mining corporations, will help us increase our output and quality. Not bad. The Tursi debacle. There are many troubled chief remnants in uh, Yunnan, Siam, and Burma that we have connections with. As we continue to examine our ah, territory and exploit for what resources we can, we need to consider the local chieftains or Tusis. We can continue the age-old policy since the meaning of cooperating and courting the Tusi, or we can push and integrate them directly into our government. Not bad. But you know what is bad? Not having enough equipment for our soldiers. If we have a concentrated attack right here, we can win. <coughs> I know we can, right? Maybe not. <sighs> Big sadness hours, man. The militia, as long as the militia folds, that's what matters most. All six ultim ultimatum, nice. Cool. The world is at war again. We need 150 more political power to continue army reform. And we'll complete army reforms in the next one, which is awesome. Yeah, we need you then. But yeah, these guys should be dying like crazy over here. Obviously, we'll give most of it to the Feng Xian government, but at the same time, still. Come on, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up just yet. Did you guys lose here? Man. Y'all suck. Yeah, we'll be taking most of it to bed if we can. You should be able to win here. Because you're fighting a river up here, but these guys are not. And I know it's mount. Oh, not even mountains. It is desert. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, thanks guys. Yeah, I'll take some stuff. Yeah, totally. I guess right now it's just a waiting game. So, can you, can you guys pull out? When in doubt, pull out. I guess. Words live by Denmark. Hey, nice. The two C debacle. Resource-wise, it does help us with our seal quite a bit more, which is nice to finally get. Uh, the frontier mining. The Yuanese frontier is filled to the brim with invaluable resources. Not just tin, but iron, bauxite, lead, zinc, copper, nickel, and many other non-metallic materials and minerals. It may take decades, if not centuries, to fully exploit the Yuanese resources, so it's high time we begin funding the creation of new mines and expeditions. to search farther and for more resources for us to trade and to use for our own prosperity. Yeah, this guy to get over there a little bit faster. That'd be great. We're just waiting for these guys to finish these guys off, so... Kind of sucks, to be honest with you, but whatever. Still a bit of more roads around here, so what is the main reason why it's so bad around here? Oh, this area. This is Yushu. Well. I guess that's why we're building it up first. Oh yeah, thanks guys. Nice. Oh, that's definitely going to help us out. Dantan's moving in. French exiles intervene. Cool. Good luck. 86. Oh, I'd love to do that, but... I Buying more artillery pieces is great for us. 
Almost ninety four. Hey, yeah, guys, we'll take some stuff. Grab some logistics companies. We need them in China. Oh my god, we need them so badly. Forty guns a day is not bad. Motorizers are okay. Light tanks are still okay too. It's kind of weird to think about, but whatever. Actually, I don't know what you hear. It's too close to Yushu. Maybe not. Whatever. Um, I want U five. Separate and go down to here. There you go. Because supplies are so bad. These guys should win pretty darn soonish. Oh, and Germany's going to be on... Well, they're already on two-front war. Two-front, whatever. <coughs> Lord, save Russia and bring your peace. Russia, well, seems like it's recovered. Good job, Russia. Good job. War score percentage for us is, is 17%. I think the government will get most of it, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'll do that one anyways, because you can. Nuclear Yunnan, China. Did they pull soldiers out? They might have. And again, we can't really afford to have too many soldiers here either, so. Five out of four. Our gun situation is slightly getting better, 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 better every day. So, we'll see. Yeah, I can't wait for this war to be over. Because as time goes on, we'll get better and better and better and better over time, so. Alright, the Frontier Mining next. Because we have enough political power for it, the Tusi debacle. The Tusi leaders of the Frontier have always presented a challenge for the provincial government. While they are generally respected in the communities, their interests usually clash with each other and our administration very often, which leads to unpleasant confrontations so far. We've upheld their independence, and we haven't tried to incorporate their domains into our government, however. As the Frontier is filled with resources, perhaps it's finally time to put an end to their pseudo fuelist rule and integrate their areas into our government. Ensure their loyalty. Attempt to, to integrate the Tulsi, or Tulsi, not Tulsi Gabber, but Tusi into the government. Yeah, that's better. Yunnan Guizhou Railway. Connecting and expanding our railways with our claims in Guizhou is of the utmost importance. Beyond making it easier to move troops and goods between Yunnan and Hunan, it also makes it easier to connect our economies closer together and will also prevent us from another blunder like the one the Yunnanese army committed by overstretching its supply lines during the Zili Feng Shin War. Which we could absolutely use more infrastructure right now. Well, the way uh, the these guys are looking right now, that's not looking too good for them, is it? They're looking pretty beaten. Well, as long as Mongolia dies, that's what we really care about. Oh, Tibet has to die too. God. Mm. Everyone back in. Get ready. We're looking okay there. Our toe is looking slightly better. And, oh, yeah, we gotta keep going for our army reforms and such. So, honestly, if you're attacking, we're going to go into. Riga's gone, which is awesome. Just go in now. See what you can do. Oh, that's nice. Good. Uh, this is not as good, but this will be good once we get this one done. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, and... We've won the battle. Go in here, too. That should help us out. That should be very good, actually. I'm sorry this is taking so long. It's just... A land war in Asia just always sucks. It always sucks. I don't remember the last time I had a really good land war in Asia. Maybe someone was playing as Mongolians, but even then, like, the second episode of that campaign where we played as Mongolia, it was really sucky. You could really see more steel. Oh, uh, we'll get some from Tibet once we integrate them as well, so. I love the green. We all love the green here. 106, come on, go higher, go higher, go faster and higher. Please, please, please. Five more days for that. I love these short focuses. I love them so much. 70 day focuses are just not cool. It's just better. Just better. Better like butter. <coughs> cool. Yeah, you're doing okay. You're not great, but whatever. How much are you going to learn? Become level 5. You're going to become level 6 soon-ish. And then we'll look at the next guy, too, in the railway. Infrastructure. Yes. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, reforms. What else do we have down here? Oh, look at all this. Oh, uh, Yunnan's iron mines have been operating for around 30 years, and have, their yields have greatly helped their economy. Now there's plenty of room for improvement. New mines can be started, old mines can be expanded, new smelters and smelting methods can be introduced to the system and for all for a small investment. While the province is definitely not in short resources to produce aluminum, that's definitely lacking in its refining process. With an extra investment, we can potentially expand our aluminum output and be able to supply our own demand for the resource. While tungsten remain behind in terms of extraction as opposed to tin, it's nonetheless a valuable resource in these times of war. Our government has luckily kept land surveys of the frontier archived, and while funding expeditions may prove expensive, it may yet prove vital for us. Oh, we could get lost, so that'd be so good. 
Just take the capital, son. And send a UN2. Followed up with expand Guiji's chromium mines. The frontier isn't the only place that's ripe with resources in a province. In the province of Guiji. Oh, hello. There are several chromium rich regions that sit largely unexplo unexploited. With our investments, we could greatly change this. It's only one, but I still rather have one than none. So. Oh, come on, man. Do we have any planes? Do we actually have. We have a single bomber. We have literally a single plane. It says tactical bomber wing, but is it really? Yeah, I guess it is, huh? You know, I really want to cast, but whatever. Come on, baby boys. You got this. You got this. Shig Shigatse. Shigatse. 135. Keep going in. Hope we don't need much more to bet. Mongolia is still not giving up with a fight, so. Ah. <sighs> The Fudian Bank opens their offices in Hong Kong with the successful implementation of new furnaces years ago, or a year ago. Miao Yuntai has begun working on expanding the Fudian's bank offices to Hong Kong. The reason to do so is that these offices could realize and oversee the transactions between the Yunnan Tin Company and the buyers from the international markets without having to utilize proxy German mining consortia as intermediaries. With the new office, offices open for business, our profits from the tin trade have nearly doubled, and the profits growth seems to no, has no shine has no sign of stopping. Break out the champagne! Great. Come on. Do we take the capital? Yeah, we did. Cool. That's actually worth it, in my opinion. Alright, so you guys hold for now. Well, not everybody, but some of you guys. Hold. 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 Let everyone else finish over here as well. If you can get, actually get these guys destroyed, that'd be great. Oh, you guys are surrounded here. Oh, no, you're not. You have this out too, so... <clears throat> developed the Great Southwest. For a long time, our province has been stuck in poverty, but we've always been one of the wealthiest in China. We may have once been a faraway backwater for Beijing, but now we're the definition of a model province. Go in. With what we're doing here, we're definitely causing them a lot of stress, hopefully. Listen, hold out for now. Hold out, hold out. We're not actually losing any attrition, so let's get some more guns back, because we're out 12,000, which is actually the same amount we started with, but whatever. Oh, they want to attack us. Great. If we could get over here, too, that'd be so good. Deutsch aus Asian, huh? Yay! And improved mining infrastructure. We could do better exploit our natural resources if we had better mining infrastructure so that the extraction can reach the Kuming Haifeng Railway faster more effectively. We should expand the roads into and from the mines in major mining cities to the capital and railway stops so that our mining yields are greater. Great! They completely encircled. Go in. Go in. It's time to go in. Hold. And support the attack. And what do we have here? Anything else? Continue the army reform? Yes, please. We are done. Acquire more artillery pieces, because by God, do we need them? Nice. Oh, I can't win there, huh? Bro, that kind of sucks. Fengchun government is just really not trying anymore. Guo Xu attacks Han frontier settlements. Given recent disenfranchisement of the Tusi leaders, some in the western section of Yunnan have chosen to join efforts with the radical anti Han Tusi leader Gong Xu and have grown bold enough to attack a Han settlement in the frontier, killing or severely injuring most of the residents before a regional garrison could catch the culprits. While they remain on the run, we may need to allocate extra protection in the frontier and a hunting party to catch them, as well as compensating the residents for failing to protect them. What should we do? Catch them eventually. Should hunt them down to the last man. Yeah, hunt them down to the last man. Bros, you cannot win here. You all suck hard. Keep going in. You can do well here. Don't stop trying. Actually, looks like we will win there, but we'll see. Well, maybe not. Improved mining infrastructure. Yes. Yes. Then we get to the Shining Pearl of the Southwest. It's not really that great for us, but, you know, I want to get this before another research slot, which I don't know why. Because that's something I'd always do. Like, I'd always beeline for research slots, so I figured, you know what, let's do something slightly different this time. Is it, is it smarter to do? No. But whatever. The Shining Pearl of the Southwest, with our economy completely reformed and reinvigorated. With the massive expansions we've undergone, we've become truly great again. We have once more claimed the mantle of the Shining Pearl of the Southwest. And there goes... Wait, are you losing? 
Oh no, they're still part of the uh, rocks back. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're winning here. We're winning here. I love winning. Winning is usually pretty nice, right? If we capture that. That'd be great. And then we get Gur. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, guys. Yeah, we'll take some artillery. Yeah, thanks for the artillery, guys. Yeah, thanks. And the army reform should be done soonish. Like three months? Oh, a little more than two. That's not bad. Resource wise, what are we doing? We need a little bit more steel too. That sucks. Come on, just take him out, please. Yay, we got it. Ah, hey, Tibet's gone. Nice. Go in. Immediately go in. You're not gonna win here, I know that for a fact. But with these guys here, hopefully we can just go straight to here. Oh crap. King of Siam, we'll have to fight the Siamese too then. Finish these guys off. Um, we actually do have another back door back behind them too. There, so uh, realistically, pull these guys out. When in doubt, pull out. I should listen to my own advice. But anyways, um, there you go. I don't care. Just throw them on there already. Goshu has been caught. After months of pursuit in the treacherous frontier, our forces have finally apprehended Gong Shu. He's been transported to Kunming as, after being tried, and. Uh, oh, oh, there's a car. Uh, and the citizens of the frontier breathe a sigh of relief at the news. It seems that Wild Frontier is one step closer to stability. Serves him right. Nice. Nice. Keep going, keep going. You're a little here just to stop them from moving. They're doing really. How are they losing this many guys? Are they doing force defense? They've only two or three divisions. Are you a kid? Yeah, monster is placated. I guess you are. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. Do the best you can. Here, go ahead too. Oh, this is the end of Mongolia. I'm sorry, this taking so long. It just is what it is, though. But, yay. And then we're gonna come over here and crush his in high dream. Um, uh, expel the Guizi. Foreign devils and white ghosts plague our lands, exploring the pure Chinese peoples with a greed, ambition, and guile. Like tumors, these foreigners establish holds in our land and slowly decinify our own nation. Like any cancer, these masks will be exercised and discarded for under the rule of Tang. China's the Chinese. China's for the Chinese. And, of course, no one else. Um, so yeah, we'll do that one, and then the restored mandate will be good to do eventually as well. My god, guys, can you just, just kill them off? Seriously. They have to be out of manpower, part, like literally right now. Keep going. This is, this is looking better, though. I'm sure why we're making tanks, but whatever. We might use tanks later, maybe. It doesn't really conduct it to what we're doing right now, but whatever. Any upgrades yet? No, they're doing quite well over here, though. I like this. And Fengshin government. That's why we don't let the AI do this. Uh, these guys are killing each other, too, but I think those guys are going to win. The Saudi Arabia is doing okay. Ooh, that's, a, that's just a giant mess. This is a giant mess, too. How is the CSA still alive? And the PSA is just kind of like, Red Alaska. What the heck? <coughs> Rex Beach. You kind of remind me of... Who's the CSA guy? Jack Reed. Territory Guard, not bad. Air Militia, Navy Plan, not bad, not bad. Hey, there's a guy down here now, too. I'm gonna force it. You're both going to force it. You know why? Because I don't care how many losses it takes to take out Bhutan. We're going to take them. This way, they can never really get that much more organization, except for when they come back and, like, just retreat into each other's tiles. So, whatever. It is what it is. We got stuff over here, too, but whatever. Now, you're not bad. Uh, learning anything? Learning anything? No? Okay. Follow oh, well, it goes to CSA, I guess. 94%. Nice. It's looking pretty bad now. Hey, do we actually win there? Great. That's actually really good. Now we can actually go in here too. So now they can't do anything else. Look at all that stuff. Yes, please, I am. We're not totally going to take you out later on. Totally not. No matter where I take this division, we're going to have to take a lot of attrition. Unfortunate realities. The Gweezy. 
Death to the Qing. The Manchu pretenders known as the Qing stole the mandate of heaven from the righteous and purely Chinese Ming. Though the Ming had their issues, at least they were not foreign devils and northern bandits playing dress up. Every last member of their accursed line, and anyone foolish enough to remain loyal to them, will be hunted down and eradicated. For no traitors will escape the justice of the Tao. More arty pieces? Yes, please. And we've got boots. Oh, Feng Chin. Yes, please. Yes. Look. Oh, there goes Bhutan. We got a whole 400 more guns. I love it. Exactly what the doctor ordered. And just in case, these people want to do some funky, funny business. Come over here and hang out. This way, with you guys over here, we'll have less supply issues eventually. You will, you guys can actually have time to recover. And overall, it won't be too bad. How many more divisions does Mongolia have? Sure, we can have that. Oh, they're almost dead, too. I'm sorry, it's, it's taking the entire episode to just kill these guys off. But, I mean, like I said, it's a land war in Asia. These guys are really experienced. Nice. Guys, for the love of God, please, let me have some territory. Come on, please, don't take it. Please don't take it. Please don't take it. Jin Handing. Chen Ruzen's assassination. Oh, boy. And after this one, we're just going to do this. The Kanyuang administration, which has been tasked with keeping the peace in the Kanyuang County in the prefecture of Likang, has suffered a major loss today. The police chief Chen Ruzen, one of the major executive members of the administration, has been shot dead in his office. While the investigation is still ongoing, the other officers have pointed to the Christians of Kanyuang, Kong, King Yuan, as the culprits of the assassination. Many in the area claim that Chen was involved in the crackdowns against Christians in the area in a bid to purge European influence, and it seems that his luck has finally caught up with him. We, while we've yet to issue any, any formal orders regarding this case, as the investigation is still ongoing, it's clear that many members of the Kong, Kong Yuan administration want retaliation against Christian groups. Christians being relevant in China? On the matter of concessions. With well, our armies continue their march across China in an effort to revile the Great Tang, we must decide how we should handle the great uh, concession cities that dot our coast. With Macau under the control of the Portuguese, and with major cities like Shanghai and Tsingtao under the control of the Gation City's mandate, or the Germans and their AOG. On the eve of war of these stolen possessions, we have two options before us. We could reach out to each of these groups, diplomatically demanding for the return of our rightful land, or simply could march into these cities with their armies and seize them by force. How should we continue? Is there any demand? We can always justify them on, on them later if we really want to, so... Peace in the East, Far East. Our negotiations have succeeded and foreign imperialist dogs have caved to our demands. The concession city stolen from our people's decades ago have been returned to their rightful owners, and their decision Tang Dynasty has redeemed another black mark on our history. Well, this war to fight for the reclamation of the Middle Kingdom. We welcome the beautiful string of pearls back into the fold. Finally, the cities are in Chinese hands. We annex AOG. Jesus. Do we get them all? Bro, we got them all. Holy crap. All right, then. I guess we're going to integrate all these guys. We got... I'll be honest. That's, that's kind of lucky. Nice. That's extremely lucky. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's awesome. I want to build a boat now. Holy smokes. This is just good business. As the opium trade further breeds profit and proliferates through our modern revival of the Silk Road of old, Emperor Gaozu has become the si single largest opium dealer on Earth. More poppy and pipe backs flows through our borders and markets and anywhere else on this planet. And all of its profits flow back to the great Tang and his emperor. However, with all the profit and prosperity, this new economic reality has also greatly disturbed the business of a certain old rival of Tang Xiao, the Green Gang. <gasps> Members of the infamous triads, the Green Gang has long controlled much of this opium trade in China through the various dens in Shanghai. However, well before our emperor's rise, this petty gang sold the young general Tang Xiao to the Anglo authorities. Riding out his opium operations and siphoning his profits and customer bases, Tang and his cousin were engulfed in a quagmire with the law. Never forgetting this transgression, and with the Shanghai and opium trade now in his firm grasp, our humble emperor has decided it's time for revenge. Ordering his loyal forces into the rat's nest of Shanghai, Hong Kong, and other major metropolis centers on the coast, every last trace of the triads, including the foul green gang, will be snuffed out. Their operations shall be destroyed. Their profit fields burned, and all their assets shall be seized. All tribe members are to be arrested, or if they resist or run, shot on sight, and these former legation forces shall burn, for no one else crosses the emperor of the Great Tang. The emperor always gets his revenge. Nice. Yes, and now we can go ahead and upgrade the artillery pieces as well as infantry equipment, finally. But happy 1940, this has been a great year for us. These guys should be dying off, hopefully, eventually, very soon-ish. We're going to keep a lot of our PP2, so. <clears throat> go, 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 my sons. My god, these guys are really slow down here. 18%, <coughs> we are second most. 8 to, oh, 6 to 22 divisions, not bad. Death through the Qing, we good? Chris Zinai Jean. The Xinhai Revolution let loose the plague of republicanism into our sanctified and holy land. Now, even now, these scheming plutocrats and oligarchs stalk our every move waiting for their moment to strike. Like any plague, these elements must be eradicated at all costs, thus they're to decay the very foundations of our new dynasty. Nice. 
as he should. China's got a new emperor here. Look at all the red around here. Now, obviously, once we go to war, we won't be able to like reinforce these positions, but I'd rather have them than not. So, death to the Qing, which we technically already did, but whatever. We can still increase the economy, but I just want to get down to political power would be nice. Division defense would be really good as well. The Tang Code, yeah. A restored mandate? Uh, well, Tang Mandate has to be restored. Um, yeah, we gotta wait first. The Garen Solution. One of the two plans is detailed by Miao Yuntai explains that the current cycle of a gear agricultural production. Oh, look at that. Uh, of Yunnan and Suboptimum could be greatly improved. For that, he's proposed several policies we should implement. What do you mean? What, how, what's happened here? What the heck? So now, you just pieced out with them? Are you kidding me, bro? Bro, you suck. You suck a fatty. You, you guys have to take these guys out then. So be it. That sucks. That's so dumb. Going hard and fast then. Going hard and fast. The fall of Algiers, so be it. So flippin' be it. We still got more than enough guns and artillery pieces, so I'm not really too concerned about it, but still, go. Go, 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 go. Retaliation in Kanyong fails. Oh boy. While an investigation of Chen Ruzan's murder still ongoing, 300 men between policemen and local militia were sent to Kanyong to retaliate against the Christians. Uh, without our consent, in the first instance, a street brawl ensued and they were forced to retreat back to Lokang. With the town seemingly on open revolt, and 100 of the 300 men were sent back to pacify the country, or the county. After a few days and a few requests of explanations, we have received a full report from the Kang Yuan administration of that last expedition. One of the men fired a weapon towards a civilian crowd, and even though it was yet unknown if it was provoked, and apparently killed one of the residents, sparking yet another street brawl, where most of the soldiers were able to escape unharmed. But they're still kicked back to Kang Yuan. It seems that the Christians there are becoming more than a small nuisance, and we'll have to give the Le Kang more assets to deal with this apparent insurrection. How the heck are they able to do this? Because they can. Hey, kill that division off. Good. As you should. This is dumb. I mean, the Shang-Chi is still here. So basically, you guys gave up so much territory that actually we will get because you gave it up. So it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. So it's fine, though. It's fine. Xinhai Dream, the Garian solution. S seek foreign investments? That's not bad. Oh, let's do this one first. In order to jumpstart our agricultural development, we will need. Two, seek foreign capital. While indebting ourselves to foreigners is never a good idea, it allows us to push our reforms quicker, and we're going to end with expanded agricultural production. The production of Yunnan has largely remained in private hands that have had to defend for themselves in the face of changing market prices, and more frequently, and recently, a full market crash. In order to bring production of agricultural goods back to an acceptable margin, we should subsidize our agricultural producers. But some comments that I forgot to get through, such as, can you do the right KMT in Kaiserreich? Someone says a lot of people do the left KMT, which I myself have done the left KMT before as well. A lot of fun. Um, but yeah, sometime. Just remind me occasionally and I will get to it. Someone says, I should ban opium in China. I should annex Sichuan, and I'm Mr. Opium Lover. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will have defeated the Mongolian Empire and get ready to reunify all of China. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.